Producer associations come in many shapes and sizes, ranging from small groups of farmers operating in one village to large exporting cooperatives representing tens of thousands of individual producers. They are key agricultural value chain actors, collecting agricultural products from farmers and marketing these products with the aim of maximizing the revenue for their producer members. As with all agro-enterprises, producer associations require financing throughout the season and long-term investment for critical parts of their operations and infrastructure. As is the case for agribusiness's credit risk assessment, a producer association needs to be assessed against both the traditional business credit assessment criteria, the five C's, and against their ability to manage specific agricultural supply chain risks. The very nature of associations, namely that they are membership-owned and controlled organizations, raises the following additional considerations that lenders need to take into account. Relationship between members and the board. A strong relationship between the members of the association and the board that oversees the association is critical. Boards that act autonomously and independently of their members can be a major threat to the long-term stability of an association. Association management and organization. Any suggestion of weak or unprofessional management should be a red flag to any lender. When an association is managed by its members, it is critical to ensure that they are up to the task and that decisions are based on business rationales, not on local or association politics. Side selling. Associations need to show that they have committed members by showing historic evidence of timely delivery and no side-selling by members. Limited infrastructure and collateral. Some associations are heavily undercapitalized with very little in the way of assets that might be used as security for a loan. When this is the case, a loan officer may have to take guarantees from the board and the membership in place of sufficient capital. Fraud and corruption. Banks need to examine historic accounts and records to identify if fraud has been an issue before and assess the procedures and processes in place at the association so as to avoid fraud occurring. Despite these challenges, if risk assessment for cooperatives is effectively undertaken, cooperatives can make excellent high revenue clients. And of course, lending to a cooperative of many hundreds or thousands of farmers is a lot more efficient than lending to each of those farmers individually.